What's up? Top of the top of everybody. Uh, pardon me while I make my morning cup of tea, man. Um, quite the morning we're having today. I think I'm gonna need two. I'm gonna need two uh, two tea bags for this. I mean. <laughs> But man, 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 hey. <laughs> so, um, I, I, you know, some just, some just made me get out of bed early today, you know, because I, I usually don't get up to about nine thirty. You know what I'm saying? My old lady, she try and keep me in the bed till ten thirty, eleven, but. I usually get up by 9.30, but some said today, man, get up. It was by self. Get up. Just get up. So I did. And the first thing I see is TMZ and Miss Felicia Moore saying that, uh, <laughs> that me and Isaac Hayes III cost her the election due to misinformation, right? Um, first thing, how can she totally negate all, like, everything that happened outside of, okay, if, if you're saying you didn't really plan to shut down the strip clubs, whatever, that's old news, ma'am. It's over. It's over. It's over with, man. Um, whether you want to shut down strip clubs, studios, hookah bars, whatever it is, man. What you did was you lost sight of one thing. This culture. The creatives in this city. We run this town. We do. And we need someone in the, and the citizens of a city make the decisions of who should lead that city. All right. Um, now, I got a chance to watch the video. And another thing that I, that was interesting Another thing that was interesting was she say uh, that celebrities shouldn't even be involved in politics. That sounds eerily similar to, hey, how you doing? All right, top of the top to you. Y'all almost finished? Yes. Oh. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah. All right, I'll check on you in a minute. Um, anyway, another thing that was, so that sounds eerily similar to uh, when, when people say, say it to LeBron to shut up and dribble. Right. You see, it's that very energy is the spirit of that. The tone of that is the reason why you aren't fit to sit in the seat of the mayor of Atlanta. You don't understand. You don't understand. You did. We run this town. All of the business that comes to this city, all of the people who decide to move to this city, the tourism dollars, all of that comes from our culture. We were here first. 
anyone who doesn't acknowledge that or who, who can't hold that in high regard is not fit to sit in the seat of the mayor of Atlanta. Now, I wish her the best and I hope she finds a position that she's better suited for. But it was not this. It simply was not. You were out of touch. You do not understand. You can't come into a city that was built by a, a host of creatives and, 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 and say that, you know, and expect to run that city and don't think that these creatives will get involved. Ma'am. Ma'am. You're intelligent enough to know better than that. Ma'am, uh, I just, uh, a, a, another thing that was interesting, another thing that was interesting about her video that's on TMZ.com. You can go get it. It ain't, you know, it ain't nothing. It ain't nothing that uh, I'm making up just to make sure that my facts are correct this time. Um... At the end of your video, what you said was, T.I. should have learned his lesson about interfering in politics. Because earlier this year, he said something about me and my plans to, I'm going to say shut the studio down, because that's what I see it as, to shut the studio down. After I, after I posted that, uh, he got into a back and forth with someone else. And that's what caused all of his allegations that he's facing. Now, you see, I always had, I knew that all that bullshit happened because y'all didn't want me to be involved in this particular election. And it almost worked because after it was over with, I said I was done, bro. I said, man, I'm done. I ain't want to do it. I ain't even want to get involved. You know what I mean? And if you notice, I didn't get involved until the very end. But, ma'am, exactly what were fake, false allegations supposed to teach me, ma'am? Hmm. When y'all lied on me, I didn't call TMZ and go crying about it. I rolled my I rolled my ride out. I took mine. I carried my weight. Cause that's what I do. Yeah, you know I mean, I didn't go nowhere and say, "Look at what they doing to me." Come on, bro. But I just want y'all to see that because I knew I knew I just I wasn't armed with the information that I needed. But I'm going to tell you something. When I made that post, I reposted what Isaac Hayes posted about her, the legislation that would have issued, made people get permits to have studios. I posted that and I, with a message in my caption that says, um, the creatives run this town and you got to consider us and you need to respect that we run this town. After I posted that message, after I made that post, the very next day, that woman who is a clear supporter of Felicia Moore, all through the campaign, even before the she announced that she was running, clear supporter of Felicia Moore. That's when she came out the very next day with all that bullshit. And if Felicia Moore had nothing to do with it. How would she know about it? If she had nothing to do with it, if it wasn't on her radar, why would she mention it in her own video? So now she is she suggesting, oh, we're going to we're going to do it again. So if 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 any at the blue allegations just happen to come up now. So this is I mean. I'm a chess player, ma'am. I'm a chess player, ma'am. I, I I ain't uh I'm not into you know 
just talking for no reason. I I ain't into that. I think um, what would have been the gracious, what would have been the thing to do of integrity was to get on there and congratulate Andre Dickens on a well-ran campaign because he really was, he, he, he got out there and got to the people more than you. He dealt with and addressed the concerns of the people in the streets. He knocked on doors. You, you did not show up to the only debate that was in Southwest Atlanta. Which showed that you only care about the north side of town. You think people are so dumb and blind that they can't see through this rhetoric? It's easy to just say it was because of the strip club. That's easy. But what about the fact that you served on city council for 24 years and not one of your fellow council members supported you? Not one, bro. In 24 years? Mm. So, but I do, I do wish the best for her, you know, uh, and I hope she finds a, a position somewhere that she's better suited for. But this ain't it. Um, but I just really found the end of that video very, very interesting. Y'all should go watch it when you get a chance. Check it out. And another thing. God's plan for God's child is indestructible. You understand me? I ain't worried about none of that nonsense. I don't care. I ain't scared of no ghosts. I ain't studying none of that nonsense, man. You gonna have to come with something real to destroy something real. The fake shit won't work. The fake shit won't work. I'm God's child. Okay. I'm God's child. And I'm uh, operating within God's plan. There is nothing that you or anyone like you can do to hurt, harm, dismantle, or destroy God's plan. All right? So, with that being said, I hope everybody have a peaceful, productive, profitable day. And um, focus on something real, man. Stay sucker free. Get the bullshit out your system. All right. Long live Pimp C, as he would say. Get off the boo-boo, man. <laughs> You dig.